Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know why I still do the dun 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 part. Like, I don't have the intro anymore. July 1st when I'm filming this, which means you guys are watching this in July, and it is, when I'm filming this, a week until I get to meet the first ever internet friend that I ever have get to meet, and that makes me really happy. Oh, good morning, guys! Not only because Little B is, like, awesome, but also because I am really excited to be able to finally say I actually met an internet friend. <laughs> For once, I planned it out with so many internet friends, and it's never come true. And this time, it's coming true, and I'm really, really excited for it. <laughs> so, but also in honor of it being July, I have decided to do a summer tag. Which, here we are. Fell in love, and we burned it to the ground, and, and we could be together, baby. Number one, are you a summer person? Well, I'm more like a winter person, but also being born in and growing up in Florida and the climate that Florida is, it was summer all year round. So I was more a winter person because I never had gotten winter. I'm from Florida. I was born and raised in Jacksonville, Florida, which means it was like the closest I got to cold was Jacksonville. But I was born and raised in Florida, so... Until I was 18, I barely even got a winter. We got, like, one week of winter, maybe. <laughs> I guess, like, when it comes to, like, the beach and, the and like, pools, I am a summer person. I do like going to the pool and going to the beach. But also, I'm more, I like winter and I like the cold. And I like being able to not sweat as soon as I leave my house. Which is probably a factor to being from the South. <laughs> because... Like, my family's all from, like, New York, so they're, 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 like, yeah, we like the heat, but, like, sometimes they like the cold. It's, like, on and off for my family. I feel like some like the cold, some like the heat, some are both, but, like, for me personally, I guess I could say 60-40 for winter and summer, so, yeah, 60-40, about. I don't hate summer, is what I'm trying to say. Number two, what is your favorite thing about summer? Going to the beach and going to the pool, but for the water. The beach, the thing I hate about the beach is the sand getting in your bathing suit or your outfits. Like, I don't want to be sitting on the sand, relaxing, having a great time, and as soon as I'm walking to the car or walking home, like, anytime I go to the beach, is anyone else like this? You come home, you instantly go in the shower, because first of all, you went to the beach. The ocean has animals peeing and pooping in it. And also, you have sand on you, so as soon as you come home from the beach, you take a shower. Instantly. Like, not like, like not a second away, instantly, but every time I take a shower after the beach, I'll take off my bathing suit or, like, whatever I was wearing, and sand just drops completely to the point where, like, I think when I was a kid, I used, or, like, a preteen or something like that, one of those ages, I used to just take off my bathing suit in the bathtub because I already knew... I had a lot of sand down in my under region, my private area of my body. Like, mm -mm. did any of the females ever have the thing where, like, at the beach, sand would get in, like, the cups of your bathing suit? Or was that just me because I had nothing up there? I think it was because I had nothing up there. Like, if I had space to fill that, the cups of bathing suits for females, I'm pretty sure I probably would have not... Gotcha likes that. Like, like if I had space in my bathing suit, I'm pretty sure if it filled up completely, Mother Nature wouldn't have to look at it and be like, okay, so put some sand in her bathing suit. She obviously needs some boobs. <laughs> Number three, do you stay indoors or outdoors more in the summer? I stay indoors throughout the entire year. Um, I 
barely ever leave my house unless it's still going to work or to eat. And I have my mom to prove that I'm kidding. I don't know. I like to stay indoors. Um, I like indoors because I pretty much like having the AC or having the cool air or not going in the sun and not sweating. Not sweating is a big part of it. But also I like the outdoors, which is so weird because I feel like it's like anxiety keeping me, pulling me into staying at home and it's not leaving and not getting up and not going out. And it's just my anxiety to be like, nope, 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 you're staying in. Nope, you're not supposed to. You're allergic to the sun. No. But like the other part of me is like, but I want to go outside. I like nature and I do like nature. I like nature. I like being able to take pictures of nature and like the outdoors and just I like hiking and all that and just yeah number four what is your favorite ice cream flavor recently this is at a grocery store um but it's with the company Briars which is an ice cream company obviously because we're talking about ice cream and I want to say it's new or it's been new recently and it's like the combination of Reese's peanut butter cups with Reese's pieces and I like Reese's Pieces, and I like Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, especially in ice cream. So the combination together just makes me really happy. And I think I bought it once, and I literally finished it in like one to two days. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Pig Queen. That's so how much I like it. I'm not even sorry. You don't get this body for not eating unhealthy every single day of your life, 24-7. What? <laughs> Also, last night I was watching TV with my mom and I saw this commercial for a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup that had Reese's Pieces inside of it, which Reese's Pieces I love more than M&M's. They're like my favorite little tiny candies that look like M&M's and just those in Reese's, Pieces, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I need one, okay? I was so shook by it that I threw my glasses off my face. Number five, what is your favorite summer clothing? Well, usually I wear just jeans. That's a dirty sock. I wear jeans, I can't reach, I'm not flexible. And just regular t-shirts like this. But yesterday, I did buy some shorts. I did get some shorts to try to break out of my comfort zone. So maybe I'll start wearing shorts more often and then I'll buy more shorts. So yeah, and they're not like the long shorts either. They're shorter short, shorts. Yeah. Number six, beach or swimming pool? That's hard. If it's a swimming pool, I won't get the sand. But I like being out in nature and the beach. And like the f being out in the ocean for me is so much better than just being in a chlorine pool. And plus, if when I go into a pool, <laughs> when I go into the beach, the ocean... I'm not gonna like come out smelling like chlorine. I mean, I smell like salt and salt water and stuff, but like, it's not as bad. I want to say water-wise, the beach, and sand-wise, the pool, because I don't like the sand, but I do like the feeling of going, like the feeling of going into the beach for me is just different than a pool, because like, it's like, hey, we're entering nature right now. And plus you get some cute ass pictures on the beach, man. You get sunset pictures, sunrise pictures, no matter what time you're at. Cute little photo shoot pictures. You can sand pictures, ocean pictures. Just, yeah. There's one beach I really want to go to, and it's the Pebble Beach in Brighton in the UK. I really want to go so bad. Number seven, what do you like most about the beach? Most about the beach is, like I said in the last question, I like the water. I like being able to go in the ocean. And then I also like the photo shoots. So, like, two things for me. I kind of cheated a bit. So, being able to take photo shoots photography for nature, and being in the ocean. And then the next question is, what's your least favorite thing about the beach, which I've been saying this whole video lately, it's the sand. I do not like sand getting in my suit or my clothes. Like, mm -hmm, sand is way too messy. No, no wonder my mom probably did not like me having sand when I was a kid. Although when I was a kid, I did have a sandbox. And then I left the lid off the sandbox and this random cat pooped in it. Thought it was a little box, so that was up. Sorry about the lighting, guys. It's four in the morning when I'm editing this because I need to get it up. Um, I'm wearing a Mocha Scott. If you guys know what this is a reference to, you're my new best friend. I am hosting a fun run race for the cure for rabies to raise awareness of the fact that there is a cure for rabies, a disease that has been largely eradicated in the US, 
but not very many people know that. So this video was longer, but there was something wrong with the audio and like the microphone, like something happened to it. So like I had to cut that whole thing out because I was going to put it in the video, but even editing, I was like so lost and I, I hated it and I, it frustrated me. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to cut this out. I'm just going to end the video right here. I'm so sorry I didn't use them tag completely. I wanted to. I filmed it. But sometimes with YouTube, things just get out of hand and you just can't. So, I'm so sorry about that. But at least I remember to give you guys a video for today because I almost forgot to edit this video. That would have been crazy. Also, I am vlogging on my vlog channel for 4th of July. Hey, I don't know what I'm doing, but that's Melon Vlogs. It should be linked down below. If not, just go to the channel and it'll be off on the sidebar. So go check that out and I'll have that up later or probably most likely Thursday early morning. Like, what, like 4 a.m., 3 a.m. Or maybe I'll just schedule it for 8 a.m. Thursday. I don't know. So, yeah. I'm sorry about that. But I love you guys so very much and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.